on. Orlando is a fan. I'm going to take one more question. I saw one question. Question about something else, but okay. um, I'm looking at the comments. I'm I'm looking for some Bragg's questions. Um, anyone out there a ACV Bragg's fan? I want to know about it. Hi, everyone. Nate, yeah. someone said nature. That's all you need to say is nature. I, I see um, someone said saying dark, dark horse. I'm assuming they're asking you, not me. Uh, <laughs> you should try it. You go. You go. You take this one. Yeah, recycle, you don't want recycle. Me to sing yes. Yes, recycle. I'm all about that. I love David every, drink I like, to put. Da, someone, <laughs> someone says, does Orlando like Bragg? Does Orlando like Bragg? Okay, so um, Orlando is Orla Orlando? Orlando sometimes. Orlando is a lot like the founder, Paul Bragg. He, you know, Paul was so fit, so natural. I think actually Orlando is the one that has brought me back to uh, health and wellness even more so. I tend nice. to hear a little bit more Memphis, a little bit more barbecue, a little bit more naughty. It's probably my unchecked emotions coming out. Um, but he, he really like keeps that balance. He is the epitome of strength and hot and, you know, balance and supplements and like he knows what he's eating and he eats live foods and like, I mean, he's, he's really just like a lot like Paul to me, you know, okay. he, when you see Paul like this and photos and these vintage photos, I'm like, oh my God, that is Orlando, Yeah, you know, swimming and hiking and biking and just being, being like buff, hot dad. It's good, um, so it's good to like, have a partner that cares about health. Oh my gosh. Right. It's so much easier and yeah. sometimes annoying. <laughs> <laughs> you got to admit, um, but it's all for the greater good and he loves brags i mean he'll he he's like i don't know if he's just doing it to try and impress me or whoever cares but he'll just shoot it he'll just go for that um and he loves the shots he's obsessed with the shots i'm actually um he's been filming a lot in the czech republic and okay. i have been able to go and see him and support him and every time i'm going to see him i'm literally carrying a box of brags shots with me every time i go because he just goes through them which are great you guys should check them out we now have shots which you can just have every day they're in little glass bottles which is great um and yeah so to answer your question about that yes any other questions how long have you been drinking apple cider vinegar so far i have probably i oh god since i was nine years old maybe maybe even younger eight years old wow uh, yeah uh my mom i've got uh, i've got my mother to thank for that and the mother of course an acv um, but I have been doing it for a long, long time and I have seen the benefits my whole life. And my, and even in my parents who are in their seventies, you know, 74, uh, 73 yeah. and 74, they still, you know, have apple cider vinegar every single day and they're all about that life. Awesome. So I've been doing it since I was nine. Orlando is a fan. I'm going to take one more question. I saw one question pop up. Someone says, are the capsules going to be less irritating? So if you have acid reflux or even uh, dental concerns, the capsule should be less irritating than actually right. drinking the apple cider vinegar. Uh, right. So what I like with Bragg's, there's so many different forms of apple cider vinegar. Um, you, you know, they even have some of the drinks that have flavors. So if you don't like just the pure vinegar flavor or the dilute vinegar flavor, you got other options out there. That's right. Yeah, you can do, there's like a honey ginger one. There's like a cayenne kick type one that's really good in the shots. Yeah. Um, some I saw a question. Uh, yeah, are you supposed to take? Right here. Oh, what do you have? That? Oh, those are refreshers. Yeah. So this is hibiscus and uh, Concord grape. That one's really good. It it is good. That's good, and it's a great it's a great everyday drink. Like you know, instead of soda or like a Snapple or something, or even a tea or whatever, it's like this is gonna have so many more benefits to it. Right, and it doesn't have a lot of calories. Okay, so a lot of my patients are looking. You know, yes, in a perfect world, we just would drink water, but there are some people who want flavor, okay? Right. Uh, what I like about the apple cider vinegar drinks, they really don't have a lot of calories, but they do have a lot of flavor. They do. And last question I'm going to answer. Um, someone said, do we drink it in the morning or at night? I typically prefer to drink it in the morning because it does give you the energy. But at nighttime, like especially in the winter, I'll make a, 
like a not a hot toddy because it's like a mocktail it's it's like apple cider vinegar and a tea and some cinnamon and some honey inside of it and it is so good and some lemon or I'll do it as a spritzer for dinner I'll have it with apple cider vinegar with um soda water and um just some lime and some cinnamon and it's perfect as well so that's when i'm doing it in the evenings but mostly i'm doing it in the morning and um someone said oh my god katie perry you are never aging well you know acv keeps you looking and feeling young why not guys i love um, it hey I, one more I, good I, use for apple cider yeah. vinegar uh you could use it actually to marinate food so I know you. Oh, yeah. we talked about barbecue, but there was a study that actually looked at using uh, vinegar as a marinade for food to actually decrease the amount of bacteria that's in the food. Really? So, yeah, yeah, they actually marinated chicken and apple cider vinegar uh, and other vinegars to see how much, like they also used lemon juice, to see how much bacteria was actually on the meat after the marinade. And uh, the combination of apple cider vinegar and lemon juice actually significantly decreased the amount of bacteria that's on the chicken. Now, you still have to cook the chicken all the way. Sure, sure. But, you know, in the era where everyone's concerned about getting salmonella, I mean, I literally just saw somebody with salmonella not too long ago. It's out no. there. I'm dead serious. Like, this stuff happens. Uh, the stuff that you read about happens to real people. Um, but, and, and that person, um, and I've seen multiple cases with salmonella, where, you know, it really just comes from chicken. But the marinade may actually decrease the risk of uh, some of the salmonella, at least based upon the studies. Now, you still have to cook it all the way and don't let the salmonella get all over your kitchen and whatnot. No, uh, no, no. I'm not eating chicken tartare here, guys. <laughs> yes, do not do that. <laughs> that would be terrible. <laughs> well, Dr. Ed, I appreciate you taking the time, you know, to step away from your, uh, you know, saving lives job, which you do every single day. Um, and providing the science, which is so necessary, the data, the information, the science behind what we are taking and eating every single day. Like, you know, we need yeah. to be informed. So thank you for this information. Well, thanks for having me. It's really been a pleasure meeting you and coming on your platform. And in general, thanks for doing Wellness Wednesdays. So I think you using your platform to talk about health and put good information out there. Uh, I applaud that wholeheartedly. Well, I appreciate that, and it, I'm all about that. <laughs>